Hello YouTube, this is Sam. I uh, wanted to continue my video from the Grand Staff and the Grand Staff Symmetry to something just as universal and maybe more. Uh, something I wanted to point out, out to con make a continuation of the last video as we're entering into this video is that the, uh, the difference between a tone and a note is that a tone is absolutely free of any tonal system because a tonal system is our way of understanding music and how we actually write it out in the sense uh, of how we understand the uh, well, the different tones that influence us in the atmosphere, just it's uh, a musical system is based on the relationship of all the tones of a scale, given a harmonic value, but also, um, but also just in how we understand those harmonic values and how those tones correlate with one another. So you'll find the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth are popular in ways of establishing the tone. So um, anyways, what we have <laughs> is uh, we have the normal tonal system we use. And what, the, what our tonal system is, is... Uh, an understanding of music with 12 tones. Um, Indian music, which is based on the natural tones, is based on 24 notes or 24 tones based on, uh, well, this is all based on an ancient understanding of something called the overtone series, which is what I'm showing you right now. So, in our tonal system with the grand staff, this is what it looks like. I'll kind of zoom this in. Whoa! Oh yeah, there it is. And uh, you can see that uh, I have the overtone series on the grand staff. And uh, below, you can see the essential intervals to the overtone series. And I'll get into that a little later because uh, that's a little bit, um, that, that's, uh, that, that, oh, I'm stumbling over my words. I will get into that later because that is an essential element to understanding the minor scales. Imagine that. So here we have the overtone series and, um, if you, rem if you go to musictheory.net, review the major scales. Review the major scales, but review the major modes. Um, there's three of them. There's three major modes. Um, and the three major modes are based on the harmonic values of, let's say, a C major scale. So, um, we have a C major scale, and for every scale, there are harmonic pillars, which are the pillars of establishing a tone harmonically. Imagine that. It's the supporters of the uh, tone that was initially played, given the under... Well, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I was thinking that this is what the overtone series describes is those tones that establish the tone, also the, with the uh, tones that break the tone, as well as the tones that balance the scale and take away, um, let's say, the major scale's dissonant values to make it more... Um, more um, balanced in, a, in the sense of consonants. 
Um, so, oh, with all that said, um, I better give you some more insight to the Overtone series and what it describes. Uh, but yeah, remember the pillars of a uh, scale are the are the uh, tones that harmonically establish the tonal center. So, okay, now for some insight. <clears throat> now that I've reviewed all that and all those wonderful things about music and the tonal pillars and everything else, um, before I, I, I guess before I write out the major scales, which are the pillars <laughs> of, um, of any, of any scale, um, I wanted to present the overtone series. And, um, so here we have our established tone C. So let's say I have a piano behind me. It's a little out of tune, but let's say I play C, right? I am playing a C and you can hear in the background, um, besides hearing my roommates, you can hear the resonance of this tone and how it, um, and you can hear its influence on the atmosphere as it resonates. So I'm going to make a little picture of what the um, tone looks like when it's played. So the example will be underneath the essential, uh, um, gosh, the essential intervals of the overtone series. So. I'm going to draw in an initial tone. So if you look down here at the bottom, right there, that is my dot. So that is the initial tone right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, let's say this initial tone is produced through a tuning fork. The significance of a tuning fork is that a tuning fork has a perfect sine wave and so because we're trying to make a perfect sine wave I'm going to show you the influence that note has in the atmosphere okay so my picture of this um, this is what it looks like right here at the bottom and as you can see, um, the tone is played right here. And just as I played the tone, there was the initial uh, hearing of the tone as it was played through the instrument. But then as it resonates, the tone breaks and divides into the atmosphere to produce what we call the overtone series. And so this is what has been measured out through the overtone series. Um, well, I'm sure there's a better way of describing that. This is, the overtone series is basically this harmonic structure, which is produced right here, but we used our tonal system to measure those frequencies at their dividing point. So we have a line from beginning to finish all the way to the very last tone right here. And that is what the overtone series is right here in the measurement of our tonal system. I will catch you on the other side of the next video.